back in New York. Okay, so we're back on this, got interrupted. So we're going to dive into this problem here and see what's going on. This is supposed to go over center and stay tight. This screw is adjusted too far in if it's not going over center. And our cable needs to be adjusted off, get some clearance on that too. So I'm going to start over by readjusting this thing. At least we're going to attempt to. See if we get out of this stuff to make it work. Okay, so that's half inch. Put it away already. I didn't like it. It's the wrong color. I don't know why you adjusted this so badly. I'm sorry? I don't know why you adjusted it so badly. I never adjusted it. It worked for what little I drove it. I guess from Santee home and then from there to here. So you know, the 10 miles you put on it worked fine then, huh? Yeah, so far. There you go. Okay, well we're gonna we're gonna adjust it some more. I'm trying to figure out why it doesn't work correctly. Came out of top up there. There we go. The barrel came out up there. The barrel came out of the pin, so it was moved way back, had no clearance, so this couldn't go back because it was hitting that. That's why it didn't Problem's work. Solved. Well, I already changed it all, so I'm going to readjust it anyway. Okay, so first thing to do is take a bunch of clearance here in the clutch. First thing to do is adjust the clutch. We have free plane everything else, so now we can. Okay, this is what electric start, isn't it? Yes. I'm not sure the dimension you're supposed to use. On 70s bikes, you're supposed to have about 3 8 7 16 7 inch or something. Oh. Between the lever and the master cylinder, that'll be back in here. And on this one, it's the same lever, so it should be in the same location. So we got a we got more than that. There we go. So this needs to go back a little bit further. That adjusts is where you're supposed to be at. Clarence. Well, that doesn't move. Is that rusted solid in there? That doesn't move. How are we going to make that work? Give me a little CRC. this rod to move. There's a flat spot up in here on the linkage. Right here I'm going to try to rotate by getting into that piece, but most likely I won't be able to get into that. i to make it way too easy if I could do that. Oh, it is tight.
supposed to be able to turn this with your hand so you can adjust it. Mm. That ain't happening. All right, so we need to get some snap ring pliers in here or something. Looks like the clevis is worn out on there too. First thing I do is get some access here <clears throat> to what you're working on. Get all this crap out of my way. Now we got access to our clip, snap ring. Fighting it so much. Should be some light in here. Let's see what's going on on this thing over here. Should come out of there, but it doesn't want to. A little tight. It didn't want to come out. This is tight. I should turn. So we're going to make a turn. Okay, bring that CRC with us. I'm going to work on this a little bit over here in the vise. You have to have all your stuff work or it doesn't help you. Let me see it here. So there's a hole here in the end of this. So Lube in there also. A little bit of wobble to it. See that lock washer they had on there? I need any lock washer, you got all that rust in there. Wobble, what wobble? A little bit. What a shocker. Harley parts got rust on them. Hard to believe.
appears to be adjustable now. The rod's a lot straighter. It's bowed up here, but it's okay. Alright, there you go. There's a walk washer down there somewhere. For one. Okay. A little star washer. I have no idea why they put a star washer on that. It's a jam nut. Why would you want to do that? It makes no sense at all. Okay, now the fun part is going to be putting it back into that lever because remember how hard it came out? Mm. That'll be fun. How's our clearance over here? Okay, so I'm going to try to jam this back into the lever back in here. Of course, it does not want to go down. Can't even get to it. So I gotta pull that up and out of there. Try to get it out anyway, hopefully. Without having to pull the whole tranny apart. Which would be a real pain in the butt. See multiple things lead to multiple things. Five ace. Lucky this will come off. Nope. Not gonna happen. You pull the whole clip out because see it goes up and down quite a bit. We don't want to do that. Okay, I'm gonna get a puller. Pull it. We back. Okay, we got me a two jaw puller. Outer box does not like you working and doing this tool. Goes in the way. I'll try to make it work anyway. Give me a long ratchet. Got no room in here. Yeah, it's not gonna let you do it. It's kind of boxing away. Got my zip gun, it might come off, but not here. Too much wobbling going on. Fuck, that hurts. Okay, give me my zip gun. Take it over hand. Too much torque involved by hand. There's absolutely no room in here. Is that a socket you need? It's over here. This thing is very, very tight, which is not correct. Pressed on there. Fuck. Well, you got it squeezed out on this side, and you try to squeeze it back in. 
pliers or something. I think. You got nothing to go. You got no access. You have no access. Pulling up, I had access, but not going down. Short of cutting the damn thing thinner, you ain't gonna get it in there. I don't particularly want to be butchering up the stock part. Hmm. Problem is that thing's been squeezed up a lot. Yeah. See, this is too fat to go in there. Got a lighter in there somewhere? Okay. Fuck! Did what you? The fuck is in there? Yeah. Fucking zip ties. Oh yeah, I've seen those. They look dangerous. Jeez. What the hell are they doing? Where is here? Use this. Who your little plastic box go with the nippers that would cut off square? Here. Yeah, I just need to move the damn things out of the way. Bend the rod really bad, it might go on. <clears throat> old light. No, the light's not going to do anything for me. Go ahead and hold me to <clears throat> hold it all the way back, the lever. Yeah. Yeah, this is far back as it'll go. Come forward. The problem is you got the aluminum starter in the way, and the rod has to bend to fit in there. See how much clearance I got to the starter motor. It's just, just no access to see anything. You can't, you can't tell where the hell you're at. You can't see a damn thing. You just, you're hitting on every damn piece there is possibly hit on. You're hitting on. There's just no room on these bikes to do a damn thing. Did it? No, not even close. in there. It's called butchery. Everything's fighting you. So the problem is this thing is going at about a 20 degree angle that way. This here is sitting out here so it's a 10 degree angle this way. You're on top of the cable here and then you got a starter motor housing very in the back that the back half hits on so nothing lines up. So you have to bend it to put it in and straighten it out so it's in there. Or pull the damn oil tank up and start a motor out. And you know, you pull a starter motor out, you can probably get in there. Probably will drop in a lot easier, but I don't want to do that. Okay, so we, uh, we don't do that. Okay, so now, tighten this up. Going to that arm is about uh, three eighths of an inch from the starter motor. How far are we right now? There's a flashlight there. How far are we from the starter motor right now? No, probably about an inch. Can't be an inch, we're bottomed out. Yeah, then 
the Maybe starter motor. If I, I know what the starter motor is. The lever against the starter motor. There ain't no damn way it's an inch. It's, it's maybe five eighths. It's it's over a half inch. Okay, it won't go no more. It's bottomed out. So the bearing's bottomed out in the case. So you can't get the adjustment you're supposed to get. So that means we're gonna go all the way until we bottom out. We're gonna come back a half a turn, three quarters of a turn, I guess, and see what happens. Probably too much. Okay, I'm gonna put a little lube here on the pivot here, the right here. I'm just gonna put that nut back on the lever there for me. Sitting right there on the footboard, probably. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. That goes on there. Okay, that's as far as back as that's gonna go. Let's get this. What happened to our clip? Sit right there. Right. Who in the hell put a big wad of shit on the side of my damn little container? See, I don't put grease on the outside of my containers because it makes me greasy when I touch them. Nothing worse than getting greasy from touching your container. So when someone helps you with lose your parts, you lose parts. So I always put my snap rings right next to my pliers so I don't lose stuff. I also put all my hardware right together. See where I'm missing a screw right now also? Where's the screw at? So we're missing a screw. Well I didn't think the thing keenly. There's one of them over here. Oh I only got one over there. I sure didn't put it over there. So we have no snap ring now. Good luck on that. Alright, I'm gonna go find me a snap ring. We'll be back.